using this systems and again which type of works they will perform in this systems so here you can see the development system used by the developers consultants and key users and when it comes to quality system <clears throat> used by the developers consultants and key users same same thing but when it comes to production system here you can see the production system is used by the end users okay so it means here you can see end users is not using development system and end users is not using quality system also okay but where it comes to the developers or the consultants or the key users again they are not using production system and that's the reason only being a consultant we don't have access for production system changes but sometimes there is a some case where we need to get the production system access also at that time we need to log in with the ffid firefighter access id so within that ffid so we can modify the production system changes also especially while we are maintaining the number ranges in finance and uh, even while we are while we are open and close posting periods or while we are doing any month end activities or year end activities or uh, even uh, if they want to give any access to the vim users or even if you want to maintain the tax rates to that particular tax codes and all so this type of scenarios even the consultants also need to access the production system but where it comes to real time working so usually this ffid the firefighter access id will be provided to the the senior consultants or the lead consultants or the solution architects of the particular team why because yesterday i told you in every team there is a different type of designations is there right so those things and all so already yesterday i told you okay so even the production system access also we will get but the thing is so we have very limited access only and that too we have the access once we have in senior consultant role or the lead consultant role and even the uh, junior consultants or the associate consultants also will have the production system access when you worked any enhancement project okay so that is the different case but you need to understand these points very clearly and the type of work what type of work uh, we are doing here so in development system we are doing the customization and the developments and the unit testing and when it comes to quality system we are doing integration testing and quality testing and user acceptance testing also and when it comes to production system so basically the productive execution of transactions it means uh the business day to day business operations the day to day business transactions or the day to day bills invoices or whatever it is the complete day to day business transactions we will be maintaining in production system please try to understand what i said i said very clearly in development system we are doing the customization and developmenting development activities and the unit testing and when it comes to quality system we will be performing integration testing quality testing and user acceptance testing and when it comes to production system the real time uh, the real business day to day business operations day to day business transactions we will be maintaining in the production system it means the real uh, day to day business operations we cannot maintain in development as, as well as quality system also please try to understand this point is also very very important and the next point see if you want to check your uh, the system landscape so basically there is a one t code once you tag it into any one project okay one minute
Yeah. So basically, we have STMS transaction code, and within that STMS transaction code, we can see the systems in our SAP. Okay. So again, I need to re-log in. Okay, so here you can see this transaction code is very helpful in real time working environment. So this is the transport management system T code. And if you go to the transport routes and here you can see whatever the systems we have in SAP. Basically, this is the dummy server like this is server we are using for educational purpose only. This is not the real time system. But when it comes to the real time system, what I worked earlier, so I will show you those things also. Yeah, here you can see this is my earlier real time system. What I worked with one project implementation project. So at that time, my client uh, real time system landscape. So here you can see this is the development systems and uh, later you can see these are all the quality systems development quality quality and again production system. The final system will be production system. Here you can see. So likewise while you are tagged into any project either it is implementation or support or whatever it is you can go to your development system and you can use this transaction code STMS and later you need to select this routes option then you can find your system landscape. So based on this system landscape you need to understand and you need to start your work and you need to start your configuration while you are working with any real time project. OK, so here you can see development and quality and production system. So the next point. Yeah, so these are all the theory points. Uh, you... Sir, you can show me once again. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. So these are all the theory. Anyway, this document is uh, shared with you. Once I shared this document, please try to read at least one time. Okay, okay now. Okay. So this is the STMST code and STMS. Here you can see this is my earlier system uh, landscape. So you said now you can go for route for access. Sorry. You did that separate than the route route scale and then. Uh -huh. STMS. So STMS. Okay. And here you can see transport routes. So if you go to transport routes, so this is the educational server, right? So 2022. So that's the reason only we have two systems only. But where it comes to the real time systems, that point only I told you up to now. Where it comes to real time, you can see this type of systems you can see in our project. OK, so these systems we need to understand what is this uh, development system? What is this quality and what is this production? OK, so and again, not only systems and even you we need to understand the clients also clients clients. I will tell you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, same same T code. Same T code is working. Yes, 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 exactly. Thanks. Okay. So next again uh, in transport uh, tabs also like if you want to see your uh, systems. Uh, how many systems we have in our uh, project also. So here you can see these type of systems. B01 is a dummy system and D01 is the uh, Sprint 2.0 a development system and E01 system E01. So likewise, uh, we can see whatever the systems here. And again, there is one option here, display systems. And if you click this one, 
so you will get that systems also we will cross check whether it is working in this system or not key ding 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 user settings even the systems also we can see but uh, this is the dummy server right so this is the dummy server so that's the reason only so we cannot see that systems uh, like this even this session we have practical session also okay so this practical session so i will plan this saturday or next saturday so at the at the time of practical session i will show you practically okay but that is completely offline session so that session we are not conducting in, in online why because even i will show you in real time how we will move our changes from development to quality also okay that and all uh, we will go with offline session and uh, at that time so i will clearly show you the practical things these are all practicals i will show you okay so likewise uh, we have the different systems and uh, later we are moving into the very very important point how we will move our changes from one system to another system it means uh, up to now what i explained you so i will open one more document okay yeah okay yeah so here you can see up to now we explained we have three type of systems in real time okay and one more very very important point is usually in our configuration in real time projects okay whatever uh, configurations we will be maintained in this system only configurations it means while you are learning your uh, pfi co course or sd course or whatever it is those are all trainings so you need to maintain your configurations right so those are all things we will be maintaining in development system in real time also same we will be maintaining our configuration in development system and later we are moving this changes to quality system again in quality we need to perform the testing and finally we are moving our changes to production system at the time of go live okay so these things how we will do in our projects so the first point the development system okay so whatever the configurations we maintained you know the configuration part where it comes to fi or where it comes to the sd or where it comes to mm we know the configuration part right why because up to now we worked up to now you worked right the configuration part and all so these configurations and all how we will be moving from one system to another system so the first point is very clear once we maintained any configuration we will save our configurations with the help of with the help of tr right tr means what do you mean by tr transport request transport request right so transport request so it means each and every configuration we are saving the transport request so especially this transport request is useful to move our changes from one system to another system and in transport request this will be working as a transporter from one place to another place 
and uh, how we can see our transports in real time. So what is the T code? If I go to SC09 and uh, here you need to give your uh, user uh, name and if you want to see two types of request types, basically the customizing request and the workbench request. And if I go to the display, if I go to the display and here you can see this is my earlier transport requests. Okay. And again, here you can see. Uh, okay. So this topic I will try to cover in next few minutes. So the first point is how we will move our changes from one system to another system with the help of transport request. And again in transport request, we need to know some more points also. One is transport request types. Okay, so basically we have two types of transport requests. One is customizing and the second one is the second one is workbench. Okay, so this one we are called as customizing TR and this one we are called as workbench TR. What is these two types of transport requests? Okay, so before I'm going into explanation. So here you need to know the clients. Client. So before that we need to know server. These are all points. And within the client, again, you need to understand the systems. Okay, so the first point server, we know very well. What do you mean by server? The groups, the group of clients are the group of information or the complete organization of the information. Basically, we are stored in this server, right? But where it comes to clients is the individual units of the particular server. Let's say, for example, I will go to 010 client and 020 client. And again, in 010 client or in 020 client or 030 client or whatever it is, again, here we have the different systems for development for D01 and quality for Q01 and production P01. But the point is these three systems we will be maintaining in client 